With team of the season coming to a close, FIFACoinZone.com are starting a brand new thing on their site where they're doing top series packs. Make sure you go check them out and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off. How's it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to do this one last time. I'm going to explain how you can be featured in this series one last time. And I beg you, listen, if you want to be involved... All right, it's not going to be the last time I explain it, but it'll be the last time for this episode, okay? Listen up. You need to take a HD screenshot from either an Elgato or your console directly and tweet it to me using the hashtag It's Haber. Don't at me in it. Don't don't only at me in it. Don't put Haber or anything like that. Hashtag It's Haber, okay? People are getting upset that they're not getting featured in these episodes and they're not entering correctly. You have to tweet me with the hashtag It's Haber and make sure you are following me on Twitter. I will not, not be including people that are not following me and I literally cannot find it if you don't put the hashtag It's Haber. Make sure it is a HD screenshot from either your console or your Elgato. I can't accept uh, companion app screenshots. I can't accept web app screenshots. I can't accept phone photos. They have to be HD screenshots and uh, and if you want to know how to do that there's links in the description to figure out from both consoles how to take HD screenshots now now let's get into it all right please I beg all right, I'm gonna get a lot of people still that don't understand that that completely don't listen to me and, and completely enter the wrong way you just won't be entered if you don't follow those steps all right and I want everyone to get a fair chance of being involved in these episodes but people just aren't entering correctly. And it's super annoying. It really is. Anyway, uh, this is my team right now. Uh, I'm trying to go for a little fun vibe. Uh, I'm only like 6 or 7 and 1 in foot jumps. Uh, my internet was down all last night. Which is why this episode, this, this video, sorry, is out a little bit later than usual. But we've gone with, uh, with End of an Era Torres up top. We've, got with, we've gone with uh, Iniesta at Cam. Not a big fan of Iniesta. Recently completed Ronaldinho though. Big fan of him. Um, we've got George Best out on the wings. We've got Hullet Vieira. Uh, I've gone with Izzo at centre-back with uh, with Van Dijk. And uh, obviously, we've got the bench. Um, now, this is on my, my Market Band account. I am playing on my other account as well with a different team. But I thought I'd show you this, this team because I thought it was just, like, quite fun. Uh, but regardless, uh, let's go and actually rate some teams now. As you see, we're searching for the hashtag It's Hey. We're looking for brand new teams. And the first one is coming from... Uh, Connor over here. We've got uh, we've got one from Connor. He does follow me on Twitter, as you guys can see. Um, and his team is a 4-2-3-1 in game. All first owner, only tradable plays are CL7 and David De Gea. He's got about 100,000 coins in liquid coins and probably about half a million consumables that he could sell um, and plays in the club. What is your recommendation? Hashtag it's Haber. Well, I mean, first of all, it's a nice looking team. It's a meta looking team. It's a nice looking team. You've got all the right players in the right positions and whatnot. Um, but there are a change or two that I would definitely make. I do want to quickly tell you guys the, the decision-making process that I make when choosing these teams is, of course, based massively on uh, the, the how, how much you've told me about your team or how fun the team is, how cool the team is. I want to, I want to feature it. Um, if you give me a big paragraph about your team, you know, what formation you're playing game, how many coins, how many players tradable, etc., you're more likely to be featured. Regardless, this is his team. Now, first thing I would do... A little bit sacrilegious. I would actually get rid of Ronaldo. You've got about what seven, eight hundred thousand coins roughly. Oh, I forgot I market banned on this account. I can't even check. Um, I think I don't know how much Ronaldo is right now. Let me actually quickly have a look how much uh, just normal Ronaldo is uh, on the PlayStation market. Uh, he is currently about seven hundred and seventy thousand coins. So you got about seven seventy k in Ronaldo there. And I don't think honestly. You need those coins. Uh, so I don't think, honestly, you need to waste those coins on Ronaldo. What I would do is I put Socrates up top. Because if you actually look at his in-game stats for a, for a striker, 99 composure, 91 finishing. This is all without a chem style, by the way. Uh, 99 shot power, 99 long shots. He's got absolutely incredible stats and works very well at striker. I would then bring Alwa here up to uh, up to your, uh, your cam spot. Now, Ronaldo starts a CDM surrounded by players. You can literally put anyone there. Um, and it won't affect the team at all. Uh, I think Alwar is not good enough for CDM. The, the only problem with Alwar is five foot nine, and he just doesn't have the uh, the defensive uh, uh, physical stats. He's fantastic, don't get me wrong, but he's way better as a cam. I would personally look to possibly play somebody else at CDM. Um, you know, you've already got Vieira on one side, so that's one player ticked off. You've got say eight hundred, maybe nine hundred thousand coins. Now you've sold Ronaldo. Uh, you could try and start completing the Hullet SPC. You could go maybe with a Frankie De Jong. Uh, by the way, this over here is uh, the wrong version of, of, of Denzel Dumfries. He's actually using this version, which, by the way, is still 
phenomenal. 509 games, just saying. Very, very good card. Uh, you can literally use anyone here at CDM. I've played against this guy at CDM a lot, and he wins so many headers. He's always in the right place at the right time. He's absolutely fantastic. Uh, so I'd possibly go with uh, with an Axel Witzel over here at CDM. Uh, obviously, you can get him in on full chemistry, and it doesn't affect the chemistry of the squad. I think he'd work really well at CDM. Uh, so what I would personally do is uh, sell your Ronaldo, or even... Worst case scenario, maybe you just sell off your consumables and buy him. Because, I mean, you can just sell off your consumables and get him. Uh, you won't have a problem getting him at all. Uh, but I would possibly go with uh, Vitzel over there. I just don't think Alwar is good enough for CDM. That's just from personal experience. I've used this card a lot on my other account, and he's fantastic. But he's more of an attacking player than a defensive player, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, of course, uh, these episodes are literally just my opinion. That is all they are. That is people wanting my opinion on their squads and me giving them my opinion on their squads. So, let's get to the next one. The next team comes from Brownie6339937, who, of course, follows me. Uh, he is year 11 going to sixth form, apparently. Um, and he says, I play Tari Striker in game, but yet a cam, switch like a Zet and Goretzka around. As long as a player has 8 chem, it's fine for me. He's got 50,000 coins. Let me actually have a quick look at this squad. I want to I wanna investigate this squad. So, it's a nice looking team. Uh, obviously, you know, you switch players around in-game. So, uh, you've got, obviously, Gretzka playing 8 chem. Jo Jovic playing 8 chem. Ben Yedder playing 8 chem. Torres playing 8 chem. Lacazette playing 8 chem. Gerard playing 8 chem. Koulibaly playing 8 chem. Uh, Marcus Alonso playing 8 cam. So the, actually, the only two players you've got on... Oh, sorry. Sorry, three players you've got on full... Four players you've got on full cam. You've got Gerard, Yashin, uh, Van Dijk, and uh, you've also got Trent on full cam. Okay. Well, the first thing I would do... Uh, the first thing I would do, let me quickly show you guys in-game. Okay, so in-game, uh, you actually have these two playing like so. I would actually swap these uh, swap these around, sorry. Uh, five-star weak foot for Jovic means that he's going to be getting those uh, those five-star weak foot bangers over on the, uh, on the right-hand side. Now, one thing I would do straight away, not good enough for CDM. I'm sorry, he just isn't. He just hasn't got the height or the physicality. He's got the aggression, the stamina, and the strength. However, look at his defensive stats. Poor interceptions... Not great marking, poor slide tackles, poor heading accuracy, poor jumping. Just wouldn't work in my opinion at CDM. That's just my opinion. Um, if you can bring somebody in, you say you've got 50,000 coins. If you've got players uh, that you can bring in though, uh, maybe you sub someone on or something like that. I know I see you've got um, you've got that uh, that UCL Ramos on the bench or, he, or Thiago Mendes. They'd both be great at CDM. Uh, I personally just uh, put him at camp, I would. Uh, and if any of these players up top are tradable, I would sell one of those on to play uh, play Gerard at camp. Aside from that, honestly, wouldn't do anything else. This team looks incredible. Uh, you've got a fantastic attack. I think that it would work incredibly. Uh, I know you're going to have so many good first-time shots with all these players. I think Goretzka's a phenomenal CDM. I think that your backline is phenomenal as well. Uh, you've got a good goalkeeper. I, I think this team looks very, very nice, and uh, I honestly wouldn't change a whole lot else. You've got height where you need it in Jovic. You've got, obviously, he's, he's six foot, uh, but he's got 84 jumping um, and 99 he heading accuracy. He will win headers. You've got Torres is six foot one with height. You've got uh, Lacazette, who's got decent jumping and decent he heading accuracy. You've got, of course, Bagnetta with decent jumping he heading accuracy as well. Um, all fantastic there. And, of course, they have all got amazing shots for your first-time shots and uh, flick-up crosses and whatnot. All that sort of good stuff. So, uh, I personally wouldn't change anything else apart from possibly just trying to get someone else instead of Gerard. Just honestly, I just don't think he's good enough. I just don't. I don't think he's uh, good enough to play as a CDM. But that's just my opinion, let alone that. I know that he's got a banging shot. I know that he's uh, he's decent on the ball. Just, I don't know, CDM, maybe just not my cup of tea. Apart from that, let me know how you uh, how you find this Koulibaly card. I am really enjoying him. Uh, he feels really, really good. It's a shame because he feels a little bit uh, sort of clunky. You know, uh, my Van Dyke, my player of the year Van Dyke. um... If we just have a quick look at his stats, for example, uh, this card right here, um, fantastic card. He has similar stats as aside from a little bit higher agility than Koulibaly. I think he's got like 15 more agility, but it's really noticeable the higher agility because Koulibaly turns quite slowly and quite... Uh, Almost just like a truck, really. Whereas Van Dijk's a little more agile on the ball. He can actually cut through players and whatnot. Um, and he's uh, both of them have got decent passing, though. Like, Kuda has got surprisingly good passing, in my opinion. Uh, this man can ping a ball, and uh, it is very noticeable. So, uh, so yeah, I'm really enjoying that Kuda card. Let me know how you're finding him. And uh, nice team. The next one is from Louis, who, uh, who does follow me on Twitter, as you guys can see. Now, Louis, 
Thank you. I really appreciate everyone that sends me how they start their team and uh, and what they're playing game as two separate screenshots. I'm a big fan of that. So this is how he starts his team. Uh, he starts in a 4-3-3. Um, his entire team is untradeable. That card right there, that card is just fantastic and tradable. Uh, I'm very jealous of, of Kylian Mbappe. Um, I think Marquinhos is good and tradable to have. You've got a red Dumfries as well, which is pretty pretty phenomenal. And then over on here is how he plays in game. Um, and he actually keeps Matic on the pitch, surprisingly. I would uh, I would personally uh, personally not do that, but that's just me. Okay, so here is how you start. Oh, sorry. Here's how you play in game. First thing I would do, you have on the bench a card that I am a big fan of. Um, let me quickly grab him up real quick. You have on the bench a De Costa. Now, this card is actually, I've, I've tried and tested this. This card is a phenomenal CDM. So, first thing I would do, swap them in game. In game, bring off Matic. He's not good enough. He's nowhere near good enough at this point in FIFA. Bring on DaCosta. This card is a genuinely phenomenal CDM. Uh, he's so quick. He's so big. He's so strong. And he's just perfect for the role. He's got good passing stats, good dribbling stats. He's just amazing all round. And I would personally bring him on there for Matic. Uh, next thing I'd do. Uh, let me quickly check how many coins you got again. Uh, you got 75,000 coins to spend. The whole team is untradeable. Um... I would personally look to try and, and try and start on a, an Icon SBC. Obviously, you won't be finishing it that quickly. But if you play a lot of rivals and champs, you'll get a lot of uh, players to put into the Icon SBC. I would personally try and just get rid of the Soul Campbell card. I wasn't a fan of it when I used it. Um, you know, I'd personally try and go for a Desai maybe. I know that card. Uh, this card is fantastic. If the uh, Icon SBC is still there. If not, then work towards like a Maldini, for example. Or maybe a Cannavaro. Um, just try and upgrade your defense there, personally, I'd say. Apart from that, this, this team looks incredible i'm so jealous of this card that you got untradeable this card looks phenomenal i'm very very jealous that you have him untradeable um you've got some very nice reds though you've got very nice reds you've got obviously red denzel dumfries um so you've done really well in some spcs and in champs wars and whatnot um and you've got a nice team i'm a big fan of this team possibly uh, a change i possibly make uh i <laughs> Looking at it now, probably not the best idea. I was going to say I'd maybe change these two there and then put Neres at his central cam. Uh, but looking at it, I mean, I'd maybe go Neres up top. Looking at it, the composure stat on, on Sterling, just not good enough as a striker. However, Neres has high composure and uh, and decent finishing as well. Um, he's got three-star weak foot, which is a little bit disappointing. But he's got high composure, decent finishing. And then you can actually do the El Tornado crossing over to, to Cliver, who genuinely... I've played against him so many times. This guy is one of the best attackers of winning headers I've ever played against. It's crazy. This guy is, is as good as heading the ball as Ebra is. It's mental. Um, so, yeah, I'd possibly go and try and play him at Cam for the, the crosses over to him. Um, and maybe even you do that or you, or you just do that. You keep it like that. It's up to you um, and play play this man up top. Or even the worst case scenario, you could play Mbappe up top and you could still do crosses with this man. Um, and you could play Mbappe up top. Mbappe's got incredible uh, finishing stats and whatnot. So, uh, so, yeah, that's what I'd personally do to change. Aside from that, it's a phenomenal team. How are you finding a Frankie De Jong? I know you've got his future stars card and not his team of the season. So uh, let me quickly actually grab up the stats for his future stars card. I wouldn't have thought this card would be great as CDM. Um, but obviously you don't have enough coins really to change that. Um, let me know how you get on with this card. I'd love to know. Aside from that, it's a very nice team. And uh, and, and and good work on the Mbappe pool. Next up we have Doctor. Doctor. He, uh, he follows me, of course. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, he says, that's the formation I play in game. Only Edison is tradable. I have about a million coins plus help. This is his team. It's a nice, nice, nice looking team. I'm a big fan of this team. Obviously, he plays a 4-3-3 to start off with. Uh, this team just looks visually very, very appeasing. Looks like a very nice team. Um, and uh, and in-game, it plays, obviously, is a 4 one turn 2 It just looks nice. It just looks very, very nice. Uh, you've got right plays and right positions, in my opinion. Uh, but... I don't know. There's a couple of things I'd possibly change, and I'll uh, I'll get into that right now and show you guys what I'd change. Okay, so first thing I'd change straight away, these two need to be swapped. Those two need to be swapped straight away. This man has 72 composure in game. Now, regardless of 98 finishing, regardless of 99 attack positioning, regardless of 99 shot power, this man will struggle in front of goal because he's got 72 composure. Whereas Ribery over here has 94 composure, 90 finishing, 88 shot power, 94 attack positioning. Both of them have very similar in-game stats in terms of dribbling and whatnot, um, but the composure stat will really, really, really let him down. 
The next thing I do probably is swap these two around. Uh, I think Ribéry has... He's got a four-star weak foot, but I think that uh, that Henri also has four-star weak foot and would probably have a better shot on his left foot than uh, than Ribéry would. So I personally switch those two around for first-time shot purposes. Uh, when, he, when you pass it over to Henri, the first-time shot's probably better for him on the right than it would be for... Uh, for Ribéry um, and then I would ask you straight away with the 4 one 2 which of your two centre mids you're playing as a stay back while attacking and then I'd make that player hull it um, because I don't think our what, what I usually do with the 4 one 2 is uh, my left centre mid is usually the player that's that doesn't stay back while attacking so uh, so my right centre mid uh, will have stay back while attacking um, and it will have cover centre whereas my left mid will have get forward and cover wing uh, sorry uh, yeah so he play more as like a left wing or a left mid and then uh, then Hullet will play more as a defensive uh, centre mid and then we have the CDM playing very defensive as well uh, Alwar's well bear is a left centre mid as a, an attacking left centre mid as well that's what I've been using him uh, on my other account. He's just absolutely fantastic. Really, really enjoy him. Aside from that, your backline looks incredible. Uh, and everything else looks really incredible. Honestly, there's no player I would buy. There's not a single player I'd buy that could improve your squad. I think that you've got the right players in the right positions. Um, you know, obviously you can't do the Robin SBC. That's the only thing I would have suggested. I don't think that Moma's George Best is better than Sancho. Um, I mean, I guess you could tr probably try and work towards Team of the Year and Bappe, but... You know, it, again, it's a long shot. It is. It's going to take a long time to work towards that. So I probably wouldn't even try it to be honest. There's no point at this point in the game to try and work towards a 97 rate team of the year Mbappe. Um, I think the team does look perfect to be honest. It's a very, very nice team, and uh, I'm a big fan of it. Last but not least, we have B. Uh, this guy obviously follows me on Twitter now. It's assist S Z N or B. Uh, now he follows me on Twitter. He says everyone on Tradable got 200k. This team just looks fun, man. This team looks like a lot of fun. He's got a Portuguese league attack or a league of attack. Uh, he's got a decent back line. He's got reds all over the place. He's got a red Cavani to bring on when he wants to. Um, he's got, you know, Fabian and, uh, and Fernandinho as CDM. This team just looks like a lot of fun. This is what it looks like. Um, now, first of all, I actually have not properly looked at this card. So he's six foot two. Poor jumping, but I mean, you know, he's not the worst in the world. Um, decent defending stats, to be fair. Wouldn't be the worst CDM in the world, to be fair. Wouldn't be too bad. Uh, this man over here, I'm not entirely sure about him at centre-back. Uh, he feels like, honestly, I've used him uh, at centre-mid, uh, sorry, at CDM, and he felt like one of the most clunky players on the entire game, but... Hey, maybe he plays incredibly at centre-back. Who knows? Um, the rest of it, obviously, this man is a fantastic centre-back. Um, decent left-back in Robbo. Unfortunately, not the greatest of jumping. Uh, a decent left CDM in Fernandinho. And this attack just looks like a lot of fun. Now, obviously, in-game, the first thing I would think, I think you'd do, or I, I'd suggest doing, is swapping those two. Playing Brahimi as your cam and playing Zhao Felix up top, I think, would probably be the, uh, the first... Thing I would definitely do. I don't think Brahimi be as good up top as Zhao Felix would. Um, and the next thing I do, obviously, I see you got on the bench. I'd probably bring off uh, Zhao Felix on, uh, and bring on Cavani straight away. Like that's probably one of the first things I do. I see you got um, you got Cavani, you got Pepe, you got Quagliarella. Uh, so either of these two would be way better up top, in my opinion. You even uh, you even have the option maybe to do a Fernando Torres. Um, either of these three you can bring on would be way way more suited up top. I feel like. Aside from that, I mean, this guy looks decent as a as a as a right cam. Uh, this guy looks decent as a left card. I've used his card. It's actually a very, very good card. I think it's just like a fun team, man. I think this team looks like a lot of fun. I wouldn't change anything else. And I hope you have a lot of fun with this team because uh, I really like people that make teams that are just a lot of fun, that are very different, that are very, very not seen before. You know, um, I feel like almost every team that I review is a 4-2-3-1. It's got, you know meta plays here and there i want to see some fun teams i want to review some fun teams that is what i want to do i want to review some very very nice fun teams so uh but it just feels like sometimes the only teams that i actually get to review are the the sort of just meta meta cheese teams really that is just how i feel you know that's just how i feel about it regardless um thank you for the submissions everybody uh make sure if you do submit it you watch the start of this video and you get to grips with how to submit it you're probably wondering again like, i get a lot of co uh, comments why i only do five teams in this episode i could definitely do more uh in like 15 20 minute videos I want to be thorough with my reviews. I want to really give the people that uh, suggest their teams and I want their teams reviewed. I want to give them a thorough 
uh, rundown of their team. I think it's unfair to literally give them like a two minute segment just to cram more teams in. I want to give them a good five, six minutes just to really have a look at their team, tell them how to improve, talk to them about their team. Because when people get their teams sort of selected and, uh, and reviewed, uh, you know, I get a lot of people tweeting me saying thank you for the insight. This has been changed. That's been changed. And that is the idea. Like I want to, I want to really have like a conversation with someone. I want a one-sided conversation where they have a conversation with me. I then see that conversation and give it back to them. You know, I don't want to just rush through it and get a load of teams done. Um, so we're not going to change. We're not going to change it for, a, you know, one person actually left a really horrible comment was, was like calling me horrible names because I made five, I did it five squads as opposed to more than that. Like, bit sad really you know those comments get deleted um but that's how that's how my series is going to be and it's not going to change all right that's how we're going to do it thank you all for watching the videos you guys the support on it has been fantastic i'm very grateful uh and thank you all for just sticking around and uh and, and watching the videos and whatnot uh we're close to how many subs are we on now uh we are on eighty-seven thousand three hundred. so i'm very grateful for that thank you very much lads and i'll see you later